What's up, guys? This is Jeff Minnickbach. I'm the owner and founder of No Limit Creatives, for those of you who don't know me. And in this video, I'm going to do a quick rundown of using Adobe Lightroom, which is an awesome uh, photo editing program. There are other, other ones out there that are way cheaper or uh, even free. You can do this stuff on your phones now as well. But I have the Adobe uh, Creative Cloud Suite and, and Adobe Lightroom. And this is what I edit photos in for uh, products, e-commerce products and things like that. Um, I don't know if you can see behind me, but I, I do have a, a little bit of a studio thing set up on the floor. I was shooting some red uh, shoe insoles and editing those. Um, but I, I shot some different random angles of a uh, product here. Let me import these and um, I'll explain why I did what I did and then how to edit these to so just get them brightened up for um, Amazon or websites, things like that. Uh, let's see here. Okay. We're coming into Lightroom now. Um, these are going to look a little funky. They are very, very raw shots. They were on a white uh, studio setup, like a little medium sized studio with a light box uh, with lights on top. And I had some reflection cards down here, which you see the lines for. But None of that matters because once we edit these and uh, take them through the graphic design process, we will actually cut all of that out. But um, this is for a uh, product with MMA Nutrition. And for those of you who know him, his name is Mina Elias. And um, this is uh, some stuff for, uh, I guess, is a post-workout or pre-workout? Pre-workout um, that he sells. And he's an Amazon legend himself. I took his product and just did a bunch of different shots here uh, of all different kinds of angles and um, some flat lays and things like that. And I'm just rotating these around. The reason I'm doing this is because uh, we like to Photoshop these into lifestyle uh, photos. So make it look like it's on a table in a kitchen or on the floor at a gym or something like that. And uh, to get it looking as realistic as possible, we want to have enough angles and different shots that when we superimpose these into a photograph, they look like they're really in the picture. So if we just had a uh, shot like this, but the rest of the photo was taken down, that's not going to look realistic. It'll look like a flat pasted in picture. Um, we don't want that. So I'm going to show you how I edit these pretty simply. Um, these were shot on a Canon DSL cam DSLR camera, and uh, they were on a tripod. Um, so really, I only edit like the first one or two pictures, and once I'm happy with the brightness and the contrast and the clarity, I, I literally just copy the settings of what I did and paste them on top of each additional picture down here. And the post-production process takes like literally a couple minutes, not even that. Um, so let me do it on a better shot here. So something like this, this is a flat lay. It was a little tough to get the uh, packaging perfectly flat just because of the powder inside. But uh, the first thing I like to do is actually just drag up the whites because uh, the background, I want it to be as, as bright as possible. Again, the lines over here don't matter. We cut all that out. Um, so once you're happy with like the, the whiteness in the background and the brightness on here, you can adjust shadows to make the uh, the bag brighter or darker. Um, I like to show a little bit of the abs here in the picture so you can see that. There is a little bit too much brightness up top here. So in that case, I would typically like drag down the highlights a little bit to uh, adjust that. Or um, what are the blacks here? Take the black down a little bit just to darken that up. But we would actually do this in Photoshop and darken this area. Um, exposure, if you want to make the, the product brighter or darker. Clarity is pretty cool. It's almost like an HDR, like a high definition effect. Um, you can, you can make it more defined or softened like this, which we're not going to do. <clears throat> Let's see. And all I'm doing over here is just adjusting some of the um, the filters on the side here on the right. Hopefully you can see all that. 
I always try to drag up the vibrance a little bit. A little bit of noise reduction. Um, this will actually get rid of the, the graininess and the uh, noise that you see on photos if you have that. Um, because I had this set up on a tripod and with some custom settings, I don't see a lot here. Um, so let's just say now we're done. This isn't uh, the perfect editing job, but um, I wanted to do it quickly so it's not a 15 minute video. So now that I've done all the edits, I would just go up to settings, copy settings, and you can just check off anything you edited. You, I just do check all. So this will carry over the texture, the clarity, the white balance, the vibrance, all that stuff. Um, once you check those off, just hit copy. And then you can go on to the next picture and go up to settings, paste settings, and it'll, it'll edit it the exact same way that it did previously. So you don't have to redo this over and over and over. This isn't foolproof. Um, there are times where like if you're shooting in natural lighting, some, some pictures might be brighter or darker than the others. And then copying and pasting settings like this could actually jack up the uh, overall finish of the product of the shot. But um, for the most part, it does work. So again, I just clicked on the next picture, settings, paste settings and it'll do the same kind of editing here. Now, this particular picture is, uh, is a perfect example of what I just said. Not every picture is gonna have the same effect when you do this. So there will be times where I'll have to go back up and uh, start, start messing with the sliders here again for adjusting different brightnesses and colors. Um, let's get some clarity going. And uh, this is this is where I would actually get into Photoshop and do some partial edits, like in this reflection here. Um, okay, so let's go on to the next one. Settings, paste. Settings, paste again. Now these particular ones, I don't. I think they're kind of dark, darker than what I had uh, wanted to see. So. I would actually um, mess with those as well. And the clarity tool is really nice. I, I like, I just like the overall effect. It has a very um, ultra HD looking effect to it. So I do that on some products, not the other. Uh, like if you don't want like a soft product for a feminine brand or children or pets, I don't really do that uh, feature as much, but Stuff that's like workout or gym related or uh, kind of grungy, I like to jack up the clarity on that stuff as well. Um, it has a pretty cool effect. So just a quick rundown of how to use this. Again, um, really simple to just import all your photos in, edit the first or one or two pictures, and then copy those settings and paste them along through all the other ones. And uh, you know, you've got the post production process done in just a couple of minutes of actual editing time. So. If you have any questions, just comment below. I'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching.